Good evening, champs. It's Friday evening and laptops are closed. I promise. Here's it. Um, I just want to show you something quickly on my personal laptop. And it's basically to help you understand what's happening on your credit card a bit better. I showed you previously how to check your West Bank, MFC, basically your car finance statement. And now I'm telling you or I'm showing you how to check your, you know, your credit card statement so that you're always here. Um, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning watcher or subscriber and um, welcome if you're new. I hope you, you, you like what I'm going to be showing you. Uh, it's going to be a nice short video. What I'm basically showing you is an interest rate calculation with transactions and with payments. I'm going to be using MFC, not MFC, sorry, NetBank's credit card rate or guidance. So NetBank basically says they're offering an interest rate of 20.25% on a NetBank Gold credit card, as well as a range from 18.4 to 20.25 on your Platinum card. So that's where I'm getting my interest rate. I took the max, which is the 20.25 for the Platinum side, and which is the, you know, the minimum or yeah the starting point for your gold credit card and i'm taking a credit limit of ten thousand, right so what you may or may not know is that the minimum installment if you have a a, a debit order with any of the credit card uh, any of the banks it's usually five percent so for, for net bank i know for a fact that it's five percent what that basically means is that net bank is taking five percent of your outstanding balance and that becomes your installment the reason I'm making this video is that a lot of people are cutting up their credit cards and, you know, talking about how bad credit is on YouTube. And I think we don't fully understand the, the aspect of it because credit used responsibly obviously can do immense things for you if, if you use the, the money productively. But another thing is that when the installment goes off, not all of it goes to interest. A lot of it goes to the portion, the capital portion of the amount that you borrow. So I'll show you, for example, here. So it's month one. My interest rate is 20.25. I've got a loan of 10,000 Rand. I didn't make any purchases during the month. So when month end comes, NetBank is going to take 5% of the 10,000, which is my you know balance outstanding. And off of that, only 168 actually goes to you know interest. And 331 goes towards the, the what's the name? The, the, the capital. So it goes towards the actual 10,000 that I borrowed. And my available balance is zero, obviously, because if I bought for 10,000, then I've maxed out my credit limit. Cool. What happens the following month? This is the revolving nature of credit cards now. The following month, NetBank checks, okay, loan amount minus the capital plus any purchases I made. So because I didn't make any purchases, all we're doing is we're saying the 9662, which is the 10,000 minus the capital portion. Do you notice that I don't have, I don't have 9,500 at the beginning of next month? Right, and that's because I can't say 10,000 minus the 500 rand because a portion of that is interest. So, what I actually have paid off of my loan is the 9,668, which is the difference between you know the 10,000 and the capital portion. Right, so what that is basically telling me is that if I add the loan amount and the available balance, I get back to 10,000. So, that's why you know credit is revolving because you always get back to 10,000. If you've spent 5,000 and you have 5,000 available, 10,000. If you've spent 7,000, you've got 3,000 available, 10,000. It always goes back to your credit limit, right? Um, so we go another month. Now I've got, you know, the previous opening balance plus any purchases, which are zero, minus the capital portion again, right? Again, I check my loan amount against my, my balance. I get 9,800. Why? Because I made a purchase. You understand what I mean? So my balance, my, my outstanding balance plus my loan plus purchases always adds up to 10,000. So that's what you see here at the bottom. So you make your purchases, you know, as and when you wish, but you can see that the installment is going down. You can see that the interest portion of the storm is also going down and the capital portion is always going down because we're always calculating 5% of the outstanding loan amount. And then comes month 12 may or may not be linked to december right in month 12 i make a purchase of 3789 right can i do that no why because my available balance is 2700 so this is me swiping and then the cash is like declined and you're like what and the cash is like declined so that's something to be mindful of because you see now you're in the negative because if i'm adding my available balance 
and I'm adding my loan amount and I'm adding my purchases. I'm 13,000. I don't have that money. Do you understand? So I'm going to remove this purchase because we can see that it's not legal. I can, however, make a purchase of 1,500. You'll see that my spreadsheet is dynamic because I'm a cool kid like that, right? So that's a bit better. And over here, this one I'm also going to make a bit smaller. I'm going to make it a 2,000 grand. That's also dynamic. So I make that purchase. It goes through, right? There's no decline. Um, it doesn't need to be in the red. It's actually a good purchase. It's in the green. So I make that purchase. I'll see that my installment goes down. Yeah, my installment goes down to... Oh, it goes up a bit from the previous month. But it's lower than the 500 because I now have 7,000 outstanding rather than 10,000. My installment goes up a bit. The interest portion goes up a bit. Capital portion goes up a bit. Um, and then my available balance goes down because I spent, you know, some of it. Um, I keep paying, I keep paying, and then I make another purchase. I have an available balance of 3,900. I make a purchase of 2,000. That adds to my loan amount. You see that? It adds to my loan amount, and then um, after two years, basically, because I've made all of these purchases, I'm basically still paying, you know, 5% off of 6,000 now rather than 10,000. Interest portion is 104. My total installment is 309. My capital portion is 205 and my available balance. Or oh, they, they, they like to say eh, on, 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 on clothing shops, available to buy. So now I have 3,800 available to buy. So this is how credit cards work. Um, yeah. You'll see that here, what we're not doing is we're not adding the interest portion to the loan amount, right? Which is very interesting. And the reason we don't do that is because the installment takes care of the interest in the capital portion. So you don't add the interest to the available balance. That's not how credit card works. Um, so if you have any questions, you let me know. I wanted this to be a nice short video and I wanted people to understand what, you know, available balance means what the interest portion means because people tend to think that the whole installment goes towards towards you know interest this is a high interest rate but like if you borrowed the ten thousand for something that you know is value additive or you were really like in a jam then i think for me paying 155 towards interest for that makes sense whereas paying this sum is what people think is happening oh sorry paying this sum is what people think is happening which is the 491 but no you're also paying back the money that you borrowed and you were going to do that anyways because you were going to use that money anyways the question you should be asking yourself is month on month right does it should i be paying this 163 or because that's the that's the actual interest that you're paying to net bank it's not the total of this because you're going to use this you're going to use the 10,000 as your own money, part of your own money anyway. So what you should be asking yourself is, is this interest portion high relative to you saving up and buying that product cash? That's the question. Let me know in the chats. Um, happy, happy to chat and yeah, engage.